Constance Blackwood, the nicest girl in town. I lost my virginity to a carny in a porta potty before I died. Like, three hours before. It was kind of porno. <laughs> he was like ancient, like 32. And he had a tattoo on his forearm. It was of two skeletons having sex, and it said born to bone on the bottom of it. <laughs> Isn't my tattoo the stupidest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I fake laughed when he said that because you should always laugh at a guy's jokes or they'll think you're a cow. My mom and dad own Blackwood Cafe in town. It's been in our family since like forever. The Blackwoods have been in uranium since they opened the mines. My family always had pride when it came to that. Then I went to high school and having pride about your town was only about the lamest thing you could ever think to believe. After a while, I started feeling crummy about stuff, like a shape. At the cafe, I would catch myself looking at my mom and thinking, what a loser. What a stupid dead end loser in a stupid dead end town. My parents were good people. And all I could do was think horrible things about them. I really wish I never thought those things. But I was just so angry that I was born in the only family in Uranium who raised their kid to think it was okay to do their working and living and dying there. It got all sorts of poison after that. Anyway, my virginity, I just wanted to get it out of the way. I just wanted to do it so I didn't have to think about doing it anymore. No. Actually, I wanted to lose it in the most horrible possible way. Constance, the lifer, lost it to a carny in a crap box in a crappy town. Why, of course she did. And then I rode the cyclone with the other kids in the choir. That's when the accident happened. We were at the top of the loop when the roller coaster made this sort of screaming metal sound. Sparks were shooting all over the place and then the screaming and the sparks just stopped. And there was like this weightlessness. And my heart jumped like a gazillion beats in a second, but I didn't scream like the other kids. No. I was just soaking it all in. Because on a certain level, it was so rad. Sailing through the air upside down, you can see all of the other rides from here. And then something just unlocked in me. My heart welled up with all of this love for everything. All of these images and feelings flooded back into me. Like crawling back into my bed in the morning and feeling all the heat left over from my body. Hanging upside down on the monkey bars until my head starts to tingle. Smelling jiffy markers. Listening to music and dancing around my room before I go to a party and pretending like I am going to have the perfect time. Finishing an essay, untying a knot, pizza night, Halloween, watching my baby brother dance naked to Abba, being in the choir at the height of the hallelujah chorus and feeling all of the voices rattle my bones. <laughs> like a crazy person, giddy with endorphins. It was all dancing leprechauns and unicorns and rainbows and streams of chocolate and whirling rocks and flashing lights. There's no shame in loving my small town. All of the best things that happened to me happened in uranium. It only took a horrible accident for me to realize how 